if you want some FIFA 23 coins, please check out MMOXP.com. Their link is down in the description. They're fast, cheap, and reliable. And if you use code REMA, you can get yourself a 5% discount. So what's going on guys, my name's Ash and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video guys, I've got some 41212 narrow custom tactics for you. Now the reason this formation is so good in FIFA 23 is because it allows you to attack very quickly on the break, which is one of the best ways to score in FIFA 23. However, with these custom tactics, it also makes it very good defensively as well because one of the main weaknesses with the 41212 is that it's not always the best defensive formation so when you do lose the ball you can find yourself susceptible to counter attacks and concede in easy goals now just before we get started though guys i would very much appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to the channel if you aren't already because around 90 percent of you that watch my videos are not subscribed obviously don't feel like you have to but it would be uh very very helpful and yeah with all that aside guys let's get right into it so for the custom tactics this is what i use and we're going to talk through them because i think it's important that you you understand how they work and then we're also going to look at the uh, player instructions too so for the 41212 narrow I like to use press after possession loss and that's because when you lose the ball your players seem to react a lot quicker they'll be there to win the ball back right after they lose it and this is the most dangerous part in FIFA 23 when you lose the ball you need to be quick to get it back because counter attacks are very very dangerous so with press after possession loss it makes your defenders react a lot quicker and you can actually win the ball back many many times and even if you don't win it back it's only a temporary press so your players won't constantly press your opponent that's why I like to use it now for width because it is a narrow formation guys defending is easier with a lower width because your players stay more compact and it's a lot harder for your opponent to cut through you so by having this on 40 your defenders keep a nice narrow shape which makes it easier to defend now for depth I like to have it on 55 because it keeps like a nice high line uh, that is very effective to win the ball back high up the pitch especially with how pace works in FIFA 23 you don't always need the quickest players uh, to defend so if you have like lengthy players at the back you can quite often catch even the quickest of strikers so having this high line actually benefits you quite a lot uh, because it also doesn't pin you back too much and this in combination with press after possession loss means you can actually win the ball very high up the pitch more often than not now for offense guys I like to have balanced on build up play now a lot of people like to use fast build up but I don't believe in it I think it's way too predictable if you're a decent player and uh, when it's not working for you it, you know you're gonna have a horrible game so I like to use balance because you can switch up whether you move the ball quicker slower or whatever you want to do by by using balance you seem to have more control which I think is better even in a formation like this now for chance creation guys, I like to use direct passing and the reason I like to use direct passing is because if you look at the diagram in the bottom right, it is the only one, uh, the only setting which actually makes your attackers move in the way that they should. Uh, just keep looking at that diagram there for example because if we change it to balance look they're all very static they barely move okay so you're not really going to get a lot of assistance in attack the same way with possession your players move around but not into dangerous areas it's more just to keep the ball so that, again that doesn't really benefit you forward runs players move a little bit but they go far too forward okay uh, you're very very easy to counter and uh, yeah I still don't think they make the best of runs either and uh, I don't think it's the best for me uh, the best tactic to use with the 4 and 2 and 2 so we use direct passing because it has the best movement uh, and you'll be you'll find it easier to create attacks basically now for attacking width I like to have this on 45 because every time you attack you like to have slightly more width than when you're defending that's just you know something in football so I like to have this on 45 because it's still quite narrow you know you're but like you're using the formation to its strength but it's also not too narrow where your players are literally all stuck together and you've got nowhere to go so having it on 45 is, is a nice balance for this formation now for players in box this is kind of down to preference but I like to have it on six because you get quite a lot of players in attacking areas but you don't commit too many men forward uh, so you don't get counter-attacked too easily okay 
The same with corners and free kicks, this is down to preference. I just like to have this on two and two because you still have players in the box, but again, you still have quite a lot of players back uh, you know, to defend if you do lose the ball. Now, for the players that you want to use, guys, in the center mid spots, you need to use like well-rounded players. So, for example, in this team that I'm using at the moment, we've got De Bruyne and Vieira as a center mids. You know, they're quite well-rounded players, okay? And then as a CDM, you want a player that has good defensive work rate. So, like a medium high and someone that is very, very good defensively. So, I've got Casemiro there. Uh, for your fullbacks, guys, you want, obviously, good players, maybe like quick players. So Hakimi and Mendy are very good players to play fullback because they're very, very meta. And as for your strikers, guys, you know, obviously you want good strikes if possible. Haaland is one of the best ones because he's lengthy and he's also very quick. Uh, Mbappe, I'm using on loan at the moment, is obviously just very, very good. And as for your cam, you want someone that, is got, that has got that good positioning, someone that can pass, someone that can dribble, you know. You, base, you know what you should look for in a cam, basically. You need that player that fits the role. You know, you can't just use, let's say, like a Valverde at cam because I don't think that would work. You want someone with the right work rates and the right passing and the right dribbling and obviously the right shooting too. So yeah, now moving on to instructions guys, this is again down to preference, but I found this to work very well for me because I think it makes the formation balanced. And when I get to the instruction that I'm on about, you'll see what I mean. So for the two strikers, I don't like to change anything but get in behind. The reason I like to have get in behind is because it gives more movement to your attackers. When you put them on get in behind, your players are always looking for that over the top ball, which is very strong in this game. And if you've got lengthy players like Haaland, they start their run early, so basically they get up to speed before you play the ball and uh, yeah they're basically unstoppable then because obviously with a lengthy player they speed up more as they go along so if Haaland's already running he's going to be unstoppable that's why I use that now for the cam this is the setting I was on about I like to put this on comeback on defense now you know I don't use this all the time but the reason I have this on comeback on defense especially in like the division rivals or if I'm playing foot champs playoffs or whatever is because there is actually still a bug with the 4 one 2 too okay so when you put your cam on comeback on defense they basically like join the midfield section so you've got like two banks of four your team defends in a 4-4-2 which is much better defensively than a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow you know this formation defensively wouldn't be too good but if you put your cam on and come back on defense they join the midfield to make it like a 4-4-2 and you have a very solid defensive structure now this doesn't always happen but most of the time you'll notice your cam almost plays as like a right mid so it's actually really really useful and then they transition nicely back into attack. Now for the centre mids guys, I just leave them alone. I don't really like to touch them. Uh, maybe put them on cover centre if you want, but again, this is down to preference. Uh, I put them on cover centre in this variation because my fullbacks are on stay back while attacking, okay? I don't like to have my fullbacks on join the attack necessarily in this formation because I feel like you get way too exposed, okay? So this formation is already not that great at the back. Uh, and if you have these on join the attack, although it adds to your attack you can get exposed very easily now this is not to say you can't attack with your fullbacks just because I've got them on stay back while attacking it doesn't mean you can't attack with your fullbacks if you want them to attack you can literally use the d-pad tactic or you can trigger them with l1 runs this is just their default setting uh, that I like to use so that they're not always bombing it up the wing uh, and you've got nice solid defensive structure when you need it and obviously when you want to attack you can and now for the CDM guys I have cut passing lane stay back while attacking and this is meant to be cover center because that's just the bog standard that you want to use on your CDM because it keeps them in that position which enables them to break up the play and it, it, it's very annoying for the player that's attacking but let's say you did have these winger uh, wing like fullback sorry on join the attack uh, because you wanted them to be more offensive then you could maybe put like your center mids on cover wing if you wanted to because then they help to cover the space that is left by the fullbacks and similarly if you want this to be more attacking guys literally flick the cam to stay forward because then this keeps this nice diamond shape so when you win the ball back you can take it to your cam your two strikers are there and then you just play the ball over but it's down to preference I think comeback on defense is more balanced uh, and I like to have stay back while attacking on the fullbacks but yeah that is everything for the tactics guys if you have found this useful or informative I would appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any video videos like this one and don't forget to turn on notifications so you are notified when a video is posted and with all that aside guys I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I shall catch you all later. Peace!